Hello, this is Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board certified dermatologist in Los Angeles, California. Welcome to one of my another one of our videos regarding hair loss and PRP and stem cells. Um, for years, I uh, had done many, many stem cells as well as PRPs and there are a lot of videos. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to uh, show you a patient of mine who have done exosomes. So I know exosomes have become very popular over the past one or two years. Uh, and we also do exosomes in our office. We do do it differently than other people, so I'm gonna explain that. Uh, the, the way I tell patients about exosomes is that exosome is kind of like, you know, the juice of the stem cells and they're usually counted in the billions of cells. Um, they are obviously coming from basically another human being, so obviously everything is going to be tested uh, before it is transferred onto the patient. Uh, it is not FDA approved, but we still basically follow FDA protocols basically to inject it. And in our case, basically we're, we're doing exosomes for hair regrowth uh, basically on the scalp. Um, the way I also explain to patients is that exosomes uh, is kind of like PRP with that blood. So you really don't need to do to draw blood when you do exosome injections for the for hair growth. Uh, a lot of time we mix it with lactate ringers. Uh, but in our case, uh, many of the times, basically, I do still mix it uh, with PRP as well, and I think you get better results doing that. Uh, so when a patient comes to my office and they want an injection opportunity for the scalp, there's PRPs, their exosomes, and their stem cells. So uh, today we're gonna be focusing on the exosomes and we're gonna do uh, a, a case, uh, and we're gonna review a case where I've done exosomes, I'm gonna show you the results. So, um, the most commonly used exosomes out there are usually that 10 billion cells, or 30 billion cells, or 50 billion cells. You know I'm not just gonna settle for a low count of billion cells. We are actually gonna use a 250 billion cell exosome uh, because that's just how we do things in our office. You know, you either go strong or go home, you know? Uh, just like when we do PRP, we do a high dose of PRP in our office. So this is one of my patients who I saw in September. Uh, she, uh, she had quite a bit of hair loss, um, basically right there in the front and also in the crown area. And as I always tell my patients, the key is to really focus, focus in one area. You don't wanna do the entire scalp. Again, so this is her again. Again, a lot of thinning on the scalp, and also mainly in the frontal area. And with her case, although we did some in the crown, but we really tried to focus really right here. So, so this is her in September. This is her two months later. So you see the front is filling up a lot more. This is two months after exome injection. So it, it looks like it's working. Uh, this is her about four months later. This photo is taken a little more from the crown area, but you can see the frontal area really filled in. This is her six months later. Again, you could see that this frontal area really filled in. And again, this is the same day, again, six months later, I'm parting all the hairs away and you could see really filled in. So in her case, basically, uh, we had done, I think, one exosome session and one PRP, and you really think that, you really could see this area really filled in. In her case, the exosome was mixed with the PRP, uh, focusing more in this frontal area, right here in the frontal area for she was really, I mean, she's also thinning the crown, but very much thinning in the front. Uh, and that's what bothered her, and we did exosome, and you could see the transition from no hair to good hair, this is over a six months period. Uh, so you could tell the exosomes certainly worked in her. Uh, we used the 250 billion exosomes, and her, in her case, we mixed it with blood. Again, we don't necessarily have to mix it with PRP, you can also do it with lactate ringer for patients that don't necessarily basically want to give blood. I think it's a great alternative. Okay, so if there are any questions, please let us know. Hopefully this helps uh, you know, answer some of the patient's questions about exosome. Thank you so much.